prayer point, you are lost. Though but she shows you were also no. If you worship in the wrong center, you are lost. But but she your confession ya ya fell so no. If you enter into wrong marriage, you are lost. If you involve in wrong business, both she or jata, you are lost. And do you know what? If you leave, sleep and wake in wrong location, wrong vicinity, you are lost. Let me give you this prayer point again. Along Eruto, along Eruto to gege, fume la toru to dele aye daru olua tuto. Let me now interpret myself. God, everything you have set in order for me from heaven. Which has scattered and dislocated, restore them. Restore them. He has perfect his arrangement in your marriage, in your course, in your career, in your future. People that are supposed to be around. In fact, God arranged perfect parents for you. He arranged perfect marriage, perfect pastor. He has made everything perfect. Something scattered something destroy it, something rearrange it, and you are being affected, you now appear as if you are a fool. Whereas you are not a fool, everything you needed for your life has been supplied even before your birth. Ah, Lord, rearrange it. Reset to it. Open your mouth and pray! In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. You can say the last one before you sit down. The special the demonic offer given to me by darkness, which I consider to be a favor, but destruction, Lord, snatch it for me, even though I don't want to let go. Snatch it from me. That demonic offer given to me by the darkness, which I consider to be a favor, Lord, snatch it from me. But where? And uh, let me just clear something here. Shall I give you an example of what I'm saying? A particular woman sent a message to me. Mommy, I have four children. But my last born is the one I love most. But he sick regularly. If we pray, prayer doesn't work for him. And I'll say, ah. And he said that boy is the most brilliant child. He know they carry last. Now he no book pass. You know, as a woman of God, the thing touched me as a mother. I enter into prayer. You know what God told me? He said, if you didn't want that boy to seek again, he should stop prayer in the house. He said, ask him. The boy starts sickening since the day the woman come across my message and she started praying in the house. I said, but why? He said, the three children will remain. They are nothing but snacks for that boy when the boy grow. He said, the day the boy clock 18 years will be the last day of peace in that family. He said, because that boy is not human being. No. He said, it is not the husband that pregnant her. He said, she has sexual intercourse in the dream. Is the one that turned to that boy. He said, that boy is an hybrid. That is why the boy is perfect in everything he wants to do. He said, and through to the woman say, electrical worker, he know it. Radio spoil, he go repair them. Touch light spoil, he go repair them. He knew everything about generator. There's nothing in computer where that boy, 13 years, no, no. The boy is just so good in everything. Not knowing that she is hybrid, not human being. And to that woman, he believed that boy is the best. No, no, say, 
na demonic offer. Not only that, there's another woman. She's in uh, Germany. She used to send t uh, tithes to me and I collect money they send. Uh -huh. But anytime she send money to me, I will pray for her. I will pray for her. One day, the Lord now told me, you are just collecting money. I'm not accounting it as a sin for you. But let me tell you the truth. I will not answer the prayer. The more you pray for her, the more worse her case will be. In fact, if she die now, she's going to hell. I said, may this lady preach every day. He even preach on social media. Whenever we have program, he will send money. He said, do I tell her I need her money? I don't need her money. I only need a present in Ghana. She's my representative in Ghana to correct the errors on the pulpit. I make her to know you so that she can do the same thing you are doing. And very soon you will hear she has stroke. Don't bother to pray. I'm not going to heal her. But the day is step in Ghana, all the sickness will go. Ah, <laughs> And he sent the one of the last month to me recently. Now I say, since that this money where you send, I know the return I go chop and more, but God no accept to. Now only me accept to. I be make no confess. And God say more problem will come. God say you will soon have stroke. He say, ah, no wonder. Doctor have told me I should be very, very careful that I may have stroke soon. I say, do you still have money to buy tickets? He say, yes. If money were there, your hand no do. Tell me, make and send more money to you. Buy ticket, they go Ghana, JJ, before it will be too late. Oh. He say, eh. He say, mommy, it's okay. Let me drop this call. Make I quickly go back. He don't do, don't talk again. <laughs> because he has half series, series of dreams. But he did not understand. Another thing, major problem many of you have is that several warnings, several instructions, several information has been given, but no understanding. That is why God must break silence today and take you to understanding of divine instruction. So pray that prayer. That thing where it don't scatter. Daddy, help me pray. I like that girl now. Okay, give me prayer points. So that when they say they, there's going to be trouble later, you think prayer can adjust destiny like that? After instruction, you are in it already now. You see? Eh, if you are in love, eh, I want to leave village. Let me be in Lagos. Let me be in Abuja. How are you now? Are you sure that place you call village, everyone in that place must go to hell? Do you think God did not have plan for that place? Did you really care what God feel? You just make a move on your own and you want to fix God into your personal plan. You always want to fix God in your project. You don't want to be fitting into God's project. And when the one last start, we pastor with that. We have already turned ourselves to prayer contractor because you go pay money. Prayer contractor cannot cannot fight God. Though. No prophet that you choose as your prayer contractor can distract God. Eh? You are just look. They will tell you, don't worry, we are praying God will do it. And they will keep on wasting your age and your year. They will be promising you God will do it soon. And God no go do them ever. That is why you see many pastor turn to liar in your life. Because you have laid the foundation of lie. And they will lay the brick of deceit on it for you. My dear, can you surrender? Say, God, I'm ready. Even though you go pay me, I go be around. God, even though your correction will make me cry, I'm ready to cry. So fight to bring, it will resort to perfection. Can you pray that prayer? Or you stand on your feet. God, let there be correction. Every angle, let there be correction.
In my marriage, correction. Business, correction. Career, correction. Health, correction. Location, correction. Abura! In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Louder, amen. Better, amen. Can you add this one? Every demonic anointing claiming right on my soul, dry. Every demonic anointing I've contacted in so in place called mountain, crusade, revival, program, church, center, in the name of Jesus. But demonic dry today. Don't joke with this statement. Do you know why? As you were praying, I can see some hand guiding some people away from divine touch of God. And you know. All these people exposed today on social media, and we see human being head, we see this, and he's in narcotics. They were pastor, and many people, and let, and let me now tell you this. Look, I am a woman of God. I preach. I believe in God of Bible. I believe in church. But my dear, when I talk, other pastor go, they say, I mean, I'm talking nonsense. To them it's nonsense, but to you it's supposed to be sense. Let me tell you this. Bible says we should not forsake gathering. Abi, a gathering of the children of God, not the children of, of devil. Anywhere you are, if you are not sure of the new church around, stay in your house. Not by force. Do you know how many so go to hell from church? I repeat it. If you are not sure of that church, don't go to church. I myself, I tell you severally, if to say God no call me, say I no get church, I'm telling you I will not go to church. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. Ah, Shall everybody see church as a, as a church of God? No be business. Ah, if no be business, they're going to tell you, say, the only way, if you don't pay tight, you are going to hell. I have back there, Jal Shen, so region, you are lost here to retire. I'm a young man, I'm a big jar. Benibari, Jenny, can you come? Say this prayer now. You are going to pray. Everything you did not give me, that they don't give me. Everything you did not give me that the world has given to me. And that thing is taking control over my brain and my heart. The Bible says every tree that not planted by my heavenly father shall be uprooted by the root. Uprooted. Do you know why I said so? I've said it in several years. I say initiation is the easiest thing in the church today. Didn't I told you? When they give Holy Communion in your church, you know collect. You collect. Who be pastor wife? Who are the people that prepare it? Some baptism, na initiating into marine kingdom. Some Holy Communion, na initiating, initiating into witchcraft. That's why they warn you. Church will not be by force. So. Look, formally, in all our branch, we are doing Holy Communion every month. Nami can sulam. Let it be given my koro koro eyes. We do it once a year. Some people say, we're supposed to be eating it regularly. I better forget. Shabi, I'm giving you word of God regularly. They eat that one till one year. I don't want anybody to get initiated here and they will now write it in my, in my record forever. For where? Look, I don't see a fire. I'm not going back there. And nobody go push me back there. Matter, matter, if I say the truth, I will short money, Abi. And let me short money. Better than shorting life. I can't be a hellfire. It's not my destiny. I'm not destined to go there. And that is why I don't care to, to offend you. I don't care either you are happy or not. One person I care is God happy. If that God is happy, which is consign me with your feeling. And the worst part, no be me write Bible. Person will write Bible if you no care for your feelings. She na me go come care. I am employed. 
as a messenger of Bible. So now me go come correct my master. Now lie you. If you don't like Bible to know where, no be the one with me I talk, go come the verse you. What will be your problem? Am I talking sense here? That's why they say my mouth too long. Leave them all. Make it a long they go. Because very soon, all of us go soon perish. It, it sounds like us. Okay, do, sorry. Sorry, yeah. If God no destroy the world, scientists, the AI, the demon, they are prepared how to destroy everything. Or they see no consign me. And for your information, me, they inside me. Under the insurance of the most high God. Now this flesh we resemble my papa and mama. Mind then go key. Me, where they inside me, you know the face, you recognize her. You where they inside you think saying like this is short. So if the you inside you no die, you cannot perish. Are you getting it? Mommy, help me. Don't let me die like this. I'll just look in head. You where you don't die inside. You won't make a protect the body. What about you inside you? When you inside you collect the certificate of air fire, you now say, mommy, please help me. Don't let me die. What thing I want to take this body do? My business with you is not your flesh. My business with you is your soul. Are you ready? That thing, the word has given to me that can make God to reject my soul. Lord, take it away. On time, let me let me know to submit any echo. Oh, you are bad. Oh, no, far too. Whatever they have planted in me that make me a rejected soul, Lord, of fruit it, remove it, take it away. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Oh, yeah, pray. Demonic anointing claiming right over my soul. Dry. I told you in those days when they used me to be calling many pastors. Believing it is God calling them. After we call them, you know, this, this anointing, anointing. Whenever I say something that can liberate people, they accuse me. That's why I'm keeping quiet. And my quietness is killing people. They say covenant oil, they are producing up and down. Oil that has been dedicated to the altar of the dark world. When they place it on you, it will claim right on your soul. Not that it will not do miracle. Excuse me. There are thousands of demonic altars that are doing miracle. Who tell you say devil no they give miracle? My dear, if you go to correct demonic temple, miracle where they go give you there. 21 day fasting for church, you know, go do you we are anointing of God no day. I'm telling you, stop being deceived and carried away by so-called miracles. Please, so people will promise, say, anywhere I go, where God solve this problem, where I carry, now there I go serve God, not minding the, the source of the power. Are you selling your soul for, for useless miracles? When I say useless miracle, I mean it. Even though you are about to die and they heal you, you know that. Do they tell you not go die again? You will still die. So it's a useless miracle now. Pray this prayer. Every demonic anointing. Claiming right over my soul. Dry, 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 dry. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. A louder amen. Hear this word. Hear kind of Basha that are in this mountain of Samaria. Which oppress the poor, which crush the needy. We say to their master, Bring and let us drink. The student, Lord God, I swear by this holiness that lo, the day shall come upon you that he will take you away with hook, and your prostrate will be fish hook, and ye shall go out the branches, every cow, and the which is before her. And ye shall cast them into the palace, says the Lord. Every animal, every cow of Basha, torturing and frustrating your life, shall be captured in the name of Jesus Christ. 
the same hand that creates you shall rescue you. The same hand of God that creates you shall rescue you. The same hand of God that creates you shall rescue you. The God that creates you shall rescue you. you. Whatever that want to make you be forgotten, that in hitting you away from the presence of God shall be taken away in the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty hand of God, the power of God, the spirit of God shall come upon you and fight every and struggle with your life in the name of Jesus Christ. That's your word, Lord. Vengeance from the Lord. Those people that calculate your day to be wasted shall be wasted. Those people that hunting for everything that make you happy. This one make him happy. Oh yeah, deal with this. This one make him happy. Oh yeah, touch it. Everyone hunting for your joy shall be crushed. Those ones sucking your strength in the dream. They are coming from with sexual immorality. After you say you will not fornicate anymore physically, they come to the dream world to bring the same pollution, the same thing you've rejected, so that you will not be able to grow and, and command in authority. Every personality that gain access to your spiritual world in order to rob you, shut up! <laughs> the mighty hand of God, the mighty hand of God, the mighty hand of God shall descend and crush the kingdom, the tower, the stronghold of your enemy to dust in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. And so shall it be. And so shall it be. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. You can have your seat. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servant, the prophet. The lion at Roar who will not fear. The Lord God has spoken. Who can be? Who can but prophesy? <laughs> ah, everyone that see you as a wandering soul without God shall tremble this time in the name of Jesus. Everyone that say, let me capture this, who will challenge you? Who will challenge me? Shall pay with your life. Everyone that take you in spiritual slave trade when the bible say the son has set us free everyone that cross and break that law that deny our freedom for spiritual slave trade shall die for crossing the law breaking the law for breaking the divine protocol of our freedom they shall die for it and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. O go for you call me holy bala bala go go bala jesira o go for you call me o go for you call me bala jesira o go for you call me he say for my own name's sake I delay my wrath. I'm reading from Isaiah 48, verse 9. Isaiah 48, verse 9. He said, For my own name's sake, I delay my wrath. For the sake of my praise, I hold it back 
from you. Because we praise him, he take away wrath from us. And that thing that stops you from praising God, I have this problem, I own debt, I'm trouble, I'm not happy. That thing is putting you and danger you into trap of your enemy. Magnify the Lord, 
Whenever I see my father at the battlefront, I become bold, strong, happier, confident. Oh, they see man. stubborn. I say, when I'm walking with devil, am I not stubborn? You enjoy me dying. Now, I'm in opposite side. You will endure me now. If you enjoy me then, endure me now. Or else you go down for me. They say, you see, this is how she do all the time. We fight her financially. We do everything. She's still stubborn. I now smile. I say, your currency is useless in my father's kingdom. You are poor. Amen. You know what? The stage of your brain will determine the stage of your mind. If somebody just faced you and say you are a fool, what will you do? Will you take it easy with that person? Huh? Why? Will you fight? You will stand and say, no, I'm not a fool. It's an insult. Am I right? You are a fool. Huh? 
If you are wise, when somebody call you a fool, your reply is supposed to be, prove it. Yeah. Do you know why you will say that? It may be right. Every wise man is fool in some area. Being a pilot does not mean you can ride car very well. Because you can ride Okada very well does not mean that the way to my papa farm, you can ride Keke go there. Every man is a fool in one area. When somebody says you are a fool, try to understand what he means. Or else you may lose that wisdom that day. Because by the time he's trying to prove himself, this is the area I'm wiser than you, this is how I used to do it, you will become wiser than him. Are you getting what I'm saying? They keep quiet. I am not fool. You will be fool. But try to listen. What do you mean? Can you prove that I'm a fool? But it's time he's tried to prove to you you are a fool. He will make you wise. I'm reading from the book of Isaiah. That 48 verse 9. Again. Isaiah 48. He said, for my own name's sake, I delay wrath. For the sake of my praise, I hold back from you so that, so as not to cut you off. I have refined you, though not a slaver. I have tested you in the funeral of affliction. 11. For my own sake, for my own sake, I do this. How can I let myself be defamed? I will not yield my glory to another. 12. Listen to me, O Jacob, Israel, whom I have called, who I have called, I am he, I am the first, and I am the last. My own hand lay the foundation of the hedge, and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I summon them, they all stand up together. That means he's the creator of heaven and earth. The day he rise to call, head or your fold up, he will fold. When he call the heavens, they will gather before him. He has power to call them in one voice and they will obey. And how come that thing created to dwell on what the heaven, the earth he has created, the habitat of his creation, now telling you there is no God and you are listening to them. What I'm saying today is this. Devil hates the wise one. And who are the wise one? The people that fear the Lord. Proverbs 3, 7. The people that fear the Lord. Devil hates them with passion. Why did he hate the wise one? Because it would be difficult for him to control him. Devil disobey God. And he hates anyone that disobey him. I repeat, devil disobey God. The same devil hates anyone that disobey him. He cannot take what he has done to God from any man. That is why when you are with God, you will be wise. And when you are wise, you will disobey devil. And when you disobey devil, devil will hate you. The book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 7 says, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. Proverbs 1 verse 7. He say, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but the fool despise wisdom and discipline. Proverbs 9 verse 10. Proverbs 9 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the only, only one is understanding. Only the wise fear the Lord. Devil hates the wise ones. That is the topic. Devil hates the wise one. Why? Because he lose control on you. When you obey God, devil lose control on you. When you obey devil, God lose control on you. Look, 
that message, eh, Jesus Christ is a merciful God. Anytime you commit sin, go back to the flow of the blood of Jesus Christ. Eh, God knows that we are a sinner. God knows that we cannot be perfect. And eh, we are just a man. We can commit sin and go back to God. Hey! The Bible says you are the slave of that person you obey. You cannot continue disobeying God and go back to the blood. Because you belong to your father that, that control your brain. You need to cry to God today. God, what has happened to me? That thing that happened to me that make me disobey you. Do you know what? Do you remember what is written there? He said, they tamper with your biology. That your geology, that your blood is being tampered. So if that thing is being put in your blood, to obey God will be difficult. Disobey God will be easy. So now, if you continue disobeying, come back saying sorry. Disobey, come back saying sorry. My dear, that means you biologically belong to Lucifer. Your biological results show that you do not belong to God. And by blood, if you do not belong to God, you cannot go to the kingdom of God. Please, my dear, what I'm saying in this message today is that don't take it easy with your sinful nature. Don't take it lightly. Hey, I'm just a human being. Hey, don't take it like that again. Fight it now. Discover that what is happening to me is not normal. It's not normal. If you are working with a company, they say anybody that buy market, you must give them receipt. Because receipt is important for the people for the accountant to calculate our income and our kene kon kene kon. You are working. You are a sales representative. You do not steal money, but you always forget to give receipts. You always forget to record. You just give them money. Even though you are faithful, you remit all the money, but no record for it. How long will it take before they sack you? Will you continue saying sorry all the time? Okay, don't let us talk about one company. If you own company and your sales representative always come back with money but no record won't you also suspect him for how long can you keep the person i'm warning you everybody have measurement of grace i have a question for you what is the measurement of your grace is it 40 percent 60 80 or 100 percent you don't know because the measurement of grace is higher than each other. That is why comparing yourself to someone is too dangerous because you don't know the measurement of your grace. Okay, now, let me ask question number two. How much percentage have you exhausted in your grace? How many remain? The, the measurement, the size of the grace that remain for you are you sure it's still up to 20 percent and then how many years would that 20 percent take you is it still up to 10 percent self because as you commit sin regularly now so you they use them finish fast fast you always claim you have a new person and sin never stop instead of your grace to be increasing it is reducing by committing more sin so what is the percentage that remain the remaining percentage of grace in your life can it cover the remaining days of your life do you still have assurance of heaven then fight that gene that make you a visual sinner that gene that make you addicted to regular sin fight it now when you obey God, you are wise. Devil ate the wise one. Stand on your feet. Devil hates the wise one with passion. What makes you wise is not technology. The only wisdom that can make you to overcome Lucifer is disobeying Lucifer and total obedience to God. And that is what is not found in the church today. Even pastor cannot obey. How can member obey? In fact, the most lovely God that is everywhere today is Android. 
Android is one kind God that take over 24 hours. The only time Android gives you chances is when you sleep. And Android still get power to extend. You even go to your dreamland. In the dream, you still try carry up, carry your Android up and down, even in the dream. It take all over your time. And our God is a jealous God. He wants your attention. But all your attention is being given to Android. And the Bible calls our God a jealous God. How do you face the jealous God? How many hours do you have in a day? 24 hours. How many hours did you sleep? How many hours did you work? How many hours on the phone? Can you give the same hour you spend on phone to God in prayer? Are you sure the jealous God is not angry with you? Devil ate the wise. The wise obey God. The fool disobey God. And this obedience we are talking about, it can only be done in your mind, in your brain. And that is the place devil is targeting. Now, to make you a sombi, what is the meaning of sombi? Somebody that did not know when to talk until somebody said talk. Somebody did not know what to eat until they say eat. So, somebody that cannot take decision on his own, either he's doing like this, or he's still worker like human being. So, far you cannot do what is right at the right time, you are a sombi on this level of your own. Either sombi 35%, sombi 50%, sombi 70%. The one where they do like this, nine beyond percent sombi. So, which level is your sombi mumu button when they don't press? My dear, we can still delete it. We can fight it. Because you always surprise me. They are supposed to enter the upper room. Ten days they get Holy Spirit. How many years have you been asking for Holy Spirit? Why he not give you? Is God lying? Holy Spirit, no day again. In power, no day again. I be not lie, Bible, they lie. Which one is lying? Not that power is not there. Not that he cannot do it. The ability to carry and obey is not there. We are going to pray. You will call the name of Jesus Christ once. Oh God, my creator. And let me now tell you, no matter how much to spoil, mechanic no feed do them. If you are able to carry that motor back to the company, they will renew it. Am I right? Oh, pardon. No accident where they no feel renew it. Because they have all the spare parts. That's the prayer point now. You just call the name of Jesus Christ. Look, two things is being polluted in us. Brain, blood. Brain and blood. Those are the two things they pollute. They pollute the brain, they pollute the blood. And that is what we need to flush now. You call the name of Jesus Christ once, blood of Jesus Christ three times. Blood of Jesus Christ, flush away every pollution in my blood and brain. Pollution of darkness in my brain. Pollution of darkness in my blood. Blood of Jesus Christ, flush it out, flush it out, flush it out. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Holy Ghost. Can you pray? You will call the name of Jesus Christ once. Oh God, my Creator. Every pollution that make it difficult for you to embrace me. Lord, delete there. Don't joke with this prayer. Oh. Look, wait, wait, wait. God bless me. Bring money. That prayer is not difficult for me. I cannot fast because of that. He says, seek it first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other shall be now me go come fast for that. Now pastor will not get access to God. They fast before you get blessed. The only thing that can make me fast is to be holy, pure, and remain in the presence of God. I can fast for that. When come to money, it's my jara. I no go fast for that. But fast for what is swallowing you. To vomit you. 
So that you can enjoy the grace of God and not disgrace. Because many people are in disgrace. They call it grace. Are you ready to pray? One more prayer point. Please pray. That thing that make me rejected in your hand, Lord, take it away. Now you create me. Don't reject me. Fight for my soul now. Not be you come down. Fight for Moses. Fight for me. I'm still alive. Rescue me. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Allow that amen. amen. Ha. Jesus never, never loses power. Oh, never. Oh, never. Jesus never, never loses power. Jesus never, never lose his power. Never, never. there you know before you are close to God you obey God you pray then you discover you have backslide or you want to give your life to God afresh you have never given your life to God or you are a backslider you need additional grace come forward first Jesus never, never loses power. Oh, never. Oh, never. Jesus never, never loses power. Jesus never, never loses his power. Everybody, your right hand on your chest. Oh, Jesus, the lover of my soul. Jesus Christ, the lover of my soul. I am a prodigal child. I know the truth. And I let go of it. And I'm naked. And I'm feeling cold of the world. Jesus Christ, the lover of my soul. I need you again in my life. Come back to me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I am a betrayer. I have betrayed you. Show mercy. Return unto me. Let your mercy locate me. And let your favor come back to me. I gave my life to Jesus. I surrender my life to Jesus. I dedicate my soul to Jesus. I refuse to be for devil. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, take over my soul. Amen.